Hey crafty friends, this is Jenny from crafttestdummies.com and today I'm on the Plaid channel to share this cute kids craft with you. This is basically a painting 101 class. It's a way of learning to use paints and making something that you can be really proud of at the end. Of course, you're going to need some basic supplies and here they are for you. Now, we're going to be featuring some pretty printed napkins and you can find these at discount stores, dollar stores, you can come collect them from parties, and you can even use printed tissues or tissue paper. We're also going to be using some scissors and some paint and actually I also want to make sure you have some white paint on hand for this as well. We're going to use some Mod Podge for a couple of different steps, a paintbrush, and we're going to be using this wood plaque. Now, I saw this at the big box store. I've also seen them at the hardware stores. And of course, you can always find them from thrift stores as well. Lastly, we're also going to use some letters to get our monogram on our plaque. Now this first step is actually kind of optional depending on where you get your plaque from. If you're getting one from the hardware store, you may find that there are some rough edges and splintery places, so it's not a bad idea to just knock those off with a little bit of sandpaper. Sanding is a nice, fun activity, and it kind of lays the path for doing more woodworking in the future. But if your plaque is smooth enough, you can feel free and just skip this step. But if you do sand it, Take a damp paper towel and make sure you wipe away all of the sawdust and leftover bits so that your paint goes down nice and smooth. All right, so now we are ready to paint. I'm protecting my surface with this manila folder, but you could use newspaper and old tablecloth. Just make sure you don't get paint on the table. Now I've gone ahead and put some white paint in this little dish and I'm going to go ahead and just give my plaque a nice base coat. I have found that if you're going to do anything on top, adding the white really creates a nice backdrop so that all of your other paint colors are nice and vibrant. As you're painting, if you see that there are little globs or places where the paint has accumulated, just smooth it out using nice long strokes and those will go away. You're going to want to let this dry and then actually apply a second coat as well. And while our plaque is drying, we're going to go ahead and select our napkins and get this part ready too. Now, I think I'm going to go ahead and use this cute little teddy bear. And I'm also going to go ahead and think about the colors that I want to use on my plaque based on what I'm seeing on this pattern. Now, most of these napkins are two or three plies. And that means that if you carefully, carefully peel, you can separate the unprinted layers from the printed layer. And so that's what you want to do is take that away and now we're going to cut out our image. So I'm going to carefully snip around everything that I want to put onto the plaque. It's going to be like kind of applying um, a cartoon image to the top. Now I don't have to go super super close because I am going to paint kind of around this and even over the top. What I really like about this kind of a project is that there are so many cool napkins and tissue papers and wrapping papers that you could use. There's something for everybody. If you like superheroes or cartoon characters, you'll definitely find something that you like. All right, now my image is cut out and I'm ready to glue it on using Mod Podge. Now, I don't know if you know this, but Mod Podge comes in a lot of different formulas and I'm just using the glossy, but there's also glitter and sparkle, so you can really get super fancy with this if you like. So to glue it down, because it's tissue paper and it's kind of delicate, you're going to lay down a nice thin coat of the Mod Podge with a nice clean brush, and then we're going to lay down the napkin over the top, positioning it pretty much where you want it to be because it's going to kind of stick down fast. I'm going to smooth it out very carefully with my fingers, knowing that there may be a few wrinkles and that's okay because we'll brush those out with a brush. Next, I'm going to layer on another coat of Mod Podge over the top and you can see, you know, some of the texture and wrinkles. Maybe it didn't completely stick down here over the edge. That's okay because we'll just add a little bit more Mod Podge on top and glue that down as well. Another good tip is that if you want to avoid wrinkles, start in the middle brushing and then brush out to the edges and that will actually decrease the amount of bubbles that you get into your final project. Continue this until it's all glued down. So now we're going to decide what initials we're going to use. Now if you have a short name, like my nephew, you can just put your whole name, Ben, on the front. But if not, 
you can use your initials, you can use your age, there are just a lot of cool options for that too. So while this is really drying well, we're going to go ahead and paint our letters. And once again, I'm going to look at the colors in that napkin and find a color of paint that I think goes nice. So I've picked this beautiful fire engine red and I'm going to go ahead once again on a protected surface and I'm going to paint all of my little alphabets. So it can be kind of tricky to get inside the corners so using a small brush or a flat brush really helps. Now you don't have to do the back because we're going to be gluing it on top of the plaque and you won't see that part. But make sure you take care to get around those edges. Let those dry completely too. So now I'm going to use some of this pretty blue color because it really matches the background of my napkins. And while the initials are drying, I'm going to go ahead and add some color to the background of my plaque. This will really kind of make it feel like it's all been printed on or kind of part of the plaque from day one. Now I'm not being super duper super careful here. I kind of feel like it's okay to let this be painterly because after all this is your creation and you should be able to customize it any way you like. I'm just going to go around with kind of this pointy brush and get into all of those little nooks and crannies and go around and kind of blend the tissue back into the background of the plaque. Now if you make a little smudge or you go over, because you've Mod Podged that down, you can actually just really carefully like wipe it away with a Q-tip or the edge of your finger. So now you're going to continue to paint around your image and really fill it in. If you find that it's a little bit thin, you can also add two coats. Oh, and don't forget to go around those edges. So this is the part where I really kind of feel like I'm almost treating it like a coloring book. I've taken a little bit of this green and because the napkin curled up a little bit, I'm just going to go back over the original part of the picture and add my own brush strokes. I just really feel like when you go ahead and add a little bit of your own decoration on top, it really feels personal and it really looks painterly. Now let's add the finishing touches. I'm using the back of my paintbrush and I'm adding little dots for the falling snow. Again, I think this just adds another layer of dimension and it really just makes it feel like it's something you did special yourself. Okay, I can't resist just a few more touches. I've decided to add a little bit of snow to the bottom of my scene to kind of make it look like my animals are nestled in a nice little snow drift. Feel free to and further embellish your plaque with whatever colors or shapes that you would like to do. You could add extra details to the scarf or onto the background or even make different colors around the edges. And now for the finishing touch, we're going to go ahead and just use our Mod Podge to glue our monogram or the name onto the front of the plaque. Because Mod Podge is a glue, you can use it by just painting it on the back to affix the letters on the front. This will take a few hours to dry, so be patient, but then you can go ahead and add hanging hardware in the back or, like I like to do, just use some command hooks to affix it right to your wall. You could even add a cup hook on the bottom if you wanted to make it for a lanyard or your house key. Hope you've been inspired to look at napkins a new way, get out your painting supplies, and try something new. Thanks for watching and have a crafty day.